Hey everyone, welcome back. And today we're going to be looking into something that feels straight out of real steel. Well, maybe not that flashy, but guess what? It's happening now in real life. China just made history by hosting the world's first ever humanoid robot combat tournament. And yes, you heard me right. Robots duking it out in martial arts battles while humans cheer them on from behind controllers. So let's break this down because trust me, it's wilder than it sounds. So here's the deal. In Hangzhou, they launched the CMG World Robot Competition Mecha Fighting Series, which is basically UFC meets robotics. And no, they aren't your clunky transformer action figures. These are kind of sleek. You know, they're AI-driven machines designed to fight intelligently and adaptively. We're talking about, you know, advanced robots developed by industry leaders like Unitree Robotics, one of the biggest names in cutting edge robotics today. No, this isn't just some flashy gimmick. It's a glimpse into how far AI, motion control systems, and human robot collaboration has come. Everything about these robots from their algorithms to their hardware is 100% homegrown Chinese tech. That alone is a huge flex for China's growing dominance in the global robotics scene. So one of the stars of the show is the Unitree G1, standing at 1.32 meters tall and weighing 35 kg. Uh, during the exhibition matches, the G1 pulled off some moves like jabs, hooks, side kicks, and even an aerial spin. And well, when it fell over, it was no problem. It got right back up all by itself. and. That's thanks to its autonomous recovery system. Imagine watching a robot do parkour and boxing at the same time. It's mesmerizing. But here, there's more. These weren't pre-programmed routines. They were like controlled in real time by human operators who had to think fast and react strategically during each match. As Unitree's Chen Xian put it, these robots aren't just machines. They're test beds for agile response systems. Translation, they're not just for fighting for fun. They're learning skills that could be used in high pressure scenarios such as uh, maybe disaster reliefs or military operations. Okay. Let's zoom out for a second. Sure, seeing robots punch each other is pretty cool, but why should we care beyond this spectacle? Well, according to Tian Feng, former dean of Sense Times Intelligence Industry Research Institute, this competition is about way more than just entertainment. He said, and I quote, combat sports demand extreme coordination, meaning these robots need to master full body dynamics, split second decision making, and retime adaptability. All those things translate directly to practical applications, industries, like manufacturing, healthcare, and even household chores. And get this, before the tournament even started, engineers spent months testing things like self-balancing, mobility precision, and energy efficiency. Why? Because the ultimate goal is to take what they learn from these competitions and create lighter, smarter, and more versatile robots for everyday use. So yeah, maybe someday your Roomba will moonwalk across your living room floor. Stranger things have happened. And if you thought Hangzhou was impressive, buckle up because the next stop is Shenzhen in December, where Engine AI is hosting the world's first full-size humanoid robot combat tournament. Think bigger arenas, tougher challenges, and even more mind-blowing tech. Companies like Unitree, Ajibot, and Booster Robotics will be throwing their bots into the ring, pushing the boundaries of what humanoid robots can do. This event is also aiming to accelerate the industry adoption of robotic technologies. Translation, they want to turn these battle-tested innovations into products you might see in the factories, hospitals, or even your own home sooner rather than later. And if you're wondering whether this whole thing has legs, consider this. China's humanoid robot market is projected to hit 870 billion yuan or 120 billion by 2030. Applications ranges from 
manufacturing and logistics, the healthcare and service sector. So while these robots are currently throwing punches in tournaments, they could very well soon be delivering packages, assisting surgeons, and helping grandma carry groceries. Pretty neat, right? To wrap this up, folks, this competition is a perfect example of how technology doesn't just evolve, it evolves with style. Watching humanoid robots sparring combat sports feels like I'm peeking into the future, but it's also a reminder of how interconnected innovation and entertainment really are. These events are proving grounds for the next generation of intelligent machines, blending creativity, strategy, and raw energy power. So what do you think? Are you excited to see robots enter the mainstream? Or does this idea of fully autonomous martial artists make you a little bit nervous? Drop your thoughts below in the comments. I'd love to hear them. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one.